Hello, my name is Laurent Vitre, and today I'm going to show you how to collaborate uh, with your team on a SharePoint. So uh, it's very convenient to actually try, track uh, team tasks, team documents, issue trackers, and your team calendar. So if you don't already have a SharePoint, uh, you can follow my instructions from the previous uh, video on how to provision a SharePoint uh, site on apps for rent. Uh, to do so, just go to uh, YouTube and search for SharePoint 2013 in 10 minutes and you will find my video over there along the tray. Uh, you will have an affiliate link uh, that you can click on to actually go to the app for rent and provision your SharePoint. So let's go to SharePoint and I will show you today how to create these different items lists and apps in it and configure your page uh, to have a dashboard with all the activity of your team. So go to add list libraries and search for documents. Uh, we'll create a document library there. So click on document library. Give a name. Uh, I usually don't like to put spaces in names because it will show as person 20 in the address links. Uh, so I replace that by underscore. Uh, now your team documents uh, shows into the recent added items. Uh, I will actually pin that. So if you go to library and library settings, you can go into the list names and uh, display that library into the quick launch uh, bar, which is the left side of your site. Say save and now it shows there and will stay there, not uh, only displayed on the recent. So let's go back and add another app. This time we'll uh, add a task list. Uh, very convenient because when you assign a task to someone on your team, uh, it will send an email automatically to that person, uh, reminding them to do uh, the task. So ta team tasks create again, um, go to the list and in the ribbon click on list and list settings uh, in order to pin that uh, item into the quick launch bar say yes and save okay so the next item that we are going to create um, go to site contents add an app we'll create a shared calendar very convenient uh, to actually track uh, when your staff is on vacation, see double bookings and uh, other optimization. So here's the app that is uh, by default inside SharePoint and name it Team Calendar. I will show you in another video how you can actually uh, augment that collaboration by linking everything to your Outlook and uh, your team's Outlook uh, environment so you don't have to go on the SharePoint all the time. So again, I pin that list into the quick launch bar. And the last items that we are going to create today is uh, issue tracker and uh, that is a very convenient way once again to uh, follow up on what uh, your team has to do or which issues they have and you may have to help them in. So create that issue tracker, we'll pin it into the uh, quick launch and we have basically all our items that will uh, enable us to um, collaborate with the team uh, more efficiently. Now, uh, the next step is to create your dashboard and actually bring every item into your homepage. Um, here is the get started with your site. Uh, you may not want to keep that. Uh, you have the edit button on the right, or you can go to page and edit page in order to customize uh, that first page. These two items, we may not want to keep them. And I will show you how you can update that. So if you go to insert app part, uh, you will be able to bring the different list and document library that you created onto that first page. So let's select team documents and click add. And now you have your team documents on the first page. Let's repeat that action uh, with the 
three other items. So the issue tracker, bring the issue tracker into your home page, go back into insert app part, uh, select your team tasks, add that on the main page and repeat that for the last item, which is your team calendar. Okay, so now we have all the uh, items on the first page. Uh, each part uh, has uh, settings or um, a menu that you can call from the right side and I will show you that. So here's one item and if I click on the little arrow I have different options to actually customize that part and you will have that to your team documents and any other items. So here is a document I don't really want that was the default one so let's delete that. Uh, it's not deleted from the SharePoint it's just deleted from the first page. Um, and you don't lose your uh, items if you had documents already uploaded into the document library. So now it's still list on the left let's remove that so before we are going to save our home page go to that documents default library let's click on it and hide it from the quick launch bar that will avoid um, confusion within the team the other thing that is nice with SharePoint is you can actually create alerts uh, that will be sent by email automatically when items are changing in this uh, list. So I will show you that in another video. Uh, but let's customize uh, that first page. So this one, uh, the get started, we don't really want to see it all the time. So we are going to just go into the web part and minimize it, uh, which will hide it. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, uh, we may not want to scroll all the time to see uh, all the items. So let's format the text uh, and the page to actually have two columns. And then we can click and drag the different items to uh, sort them in the different uh, columns. So you select your entire page, set two columns. And in order to uh, take effect, you need to save it and refresh the page. That's a little glitch into the SharePoint. So now that you saved it, it refreshed, and if you re-edit, you have these two columns, and you can click and drag items to bring them from the left to the right or the right to the left. So here I'm bringing the documents, the <coughs> issue tracker and the calendar on the right. In order to balance, I usually like to have the documents on the left. So that's what I'm going to, um, uh, to do right now. Let's bring the uh, documents back into the uh, left side, okay? And now I can save uh, my uh, layout, that's what I want. So let's do a last customization uh, on every uh, items uh, in your SharePoint. So you can actually set versionings and that will keep track of the different uh, versions, the different uh, occurrence or changes that happen on the lists. Uh, so you go to the list settings and your version in settings here you can set to keep one or multiple versions so for everything that is a list I usually keep unlimited versions uh, but for documents I tend to keep only two or three uh, copies of the document uh, otherwise the library will actually uh, grow uh, pretty big pretty fast so let's just create a major version uh, and keep uh, only two copies of documents. That, that's really convenient because it does allow you to um, uh, recover from mistakes if you need to. So again, do the same for the tasks. Uh, task list updates and keeping versions is very convenient. Uh, you can actually trace back what has been done and when. Um, and that usually improve efficiency uh, in tracking. Okay, so now you have that um, site with all the different items in plain view. Very easy to manage your team. Have a good day. Bye.